collection of really good players, and then when really good players play well together, I think we can play at a really high level. You know, being in a big stadium, you're playing for family, for your fans, but, you know, you got here into this point because of the people you play and sit next to. We don't need anybody to talk us up. I feel like we know who we are. Uh, you know, we're, we're kids. Going through conference, having every single type of game that, that you couldn't imagine, uh, I think we're just battle-tested and we have been this whole season. But this is what we're capable of. Now that we're at this moment, we've got to seize everything that we have. Should be a Hall of Fame night with these two games coming up. We're going to get game one started. Championship night 
another like it. You get two exciting brands of basketball, two programs that have a lot of connection to one another historically. And now we're down to one game for the championship. We're underway. Here's a Pachi. Just like he did against Villanova.
advantage in the second half. Ochai, we make a damn free throw, showing up big the second half. But Och was great. Uh, Mitch gave us some good minutes. Uh, but guys, David McCormick. Yeah. <laughs> Most outstanding players. Oates got the trophy, but this net's gonna live with you forever. There, big boy. So, so, and, and then of course Remy. Hey, Remy. Guys, he said he was waiting for March. Yeah. That dude delivered in March. You guys are champions. And I had, I had a lady send me a text this morning. She said, "You guys will win if you can show humility." And uh, uh, the bottom line is, no matter how good you feel and how big this is, it's still not bigger than Kansas. It's still not bigger than the game itself. So everybody, give Carolina credit. They played their butts off. But also understand, all you are is a, is a piece of what may go down as the most historic win in a finals game, or one of the most historic wins in a finals game. Be proud of that. But understand that other people from years back helped make this special tonight. Okay? Don't ever forget that. All right, get your hands up. Oh, hey, don't worry about the deal. Slow that wagon. Here we go. Graduating from law and med school at the end of this semester. <laughs> Next guy is uh, uh, obviously a, a favorite of all. His uh, his uh, family have been kind of like uh, the first family of our, our basketball program because they've given us ten years with uh, with Connor giving us five, and, and of course Chris giving us five. But uh, he will be missed more than more than uh, uh, we probably realize right now. Uh, and of course, I know somebody that'll miss missing even more than us will probably be Mitch. Uh, uh, they have a close bond. So, uh, but Chris, why don't you come up and say a few words? So I've, I've obviously been here a while, but I've been a Jayhawk for even longer. I've been a Jayhawk my whole life, and. Uh, I can't thank everyone in this room, everyone who's been along with us for the ride uh, enough for the last five years. Uh, you've made my dream come true. I could, I would never imagine this the first day I stepped on campus, but uh, thank you guys so much for everything you guys done for us, and uh, I'm excited to be a national championship or national champion and hang a banger up. So thank you guys. Hey, hey, hey Chris, could, could Connor get that done? They got close. Oh, well, no, he has, well, he has, he has 
Oh, oh wait, that's exactly. Oh, Connor had a chance to get two. That's exactly right, Connor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You had a chance to get two. Okay, the, the next one, uh, 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 fan favorite, probably has more energy than anybody that I've been around on game days. Uh, I'm telling you what, he, he, was, uh, he was unbelievable to coach. He'll be the first to admit it took me a while to figure him out, and it took him a while to figure me out. But when we figured each other out, God, he was good. We would not be hanging another banner unless it's from that kid from Arizona State, Remy Martin. Everybody that's you know involved in KU, the fans. Um, it's been an amazing journey, and um, you know I thank every single one of you guys. But my teammates, man, my teammates um, throughout the whole season always you know have my back, um, always you know was confident in me, and um, you know I just really appreciate them, appreciate um, uh, academic people. You know my mom, you know that's really all she cares about. So you know thank you for holding me to a higher standard, um, strength coach. Uh, Chad and Sammy, they saw me every day. I didn't want to see them. They did not want to see me. Um, but, you know, we stuck together, and, you know, I just told them, I, you know, basically, just wait till March. And March arrived, and now we're about to hang a banner. So thank you, guys. Appreciate it. No, we, we said all along, Rem, Remy could get us to a different gear. And when it counted the most, he got us, he got us to a different uh, next guy right now is, uh, uh, um, he'll always be dear to all of us, but certainly to me personally, he's been with me a long time. I have a voicemail on my phone from 2015 when I was recruiting, uh, and it's 2022 now, and I didn't call him until his senior year, so it wasn't like I was recruiting him as a freshman, but, but, uh, uh, but he is, he's absolutely fantastic. I don't, I don't know that if you could cut anybody open and have anybody be more of a Jayhawk than what Mitch Lightfoot is, I think there'd be a, a literal, literally a mythical bird that would fly out of his chest. He loves this place that much. So, Mitch, you got it. First off, I just want to say thank you to, to all my teammates, all my coaches. Uh, you guys pushed me to become who I am today, and, and I thank you guys for that. Uh, I, I was thinking about what I was going to say. I was standing over there, and uh, I thought to myself about how whenever you come to Kansas, you, you come here because of the tradition, and, and it's just unbelievable that I get to leave being a tiny part of it. And uh, I'm so thankful to, to be at this university with, uh, with these people. So I appreciate you guys. Rock shock. And uh, uh, the man in the middle, uh, I, th I think David has been as much talked about as probably any player we've had. And uh, I think everything that has happened with him has driven him to be a better person and a better player. Uh, fans don't know this, but I asked Bill in front of the whole team one day, how many hours a day do you think David works on his foot? And he's, I, I got the math wrong, I know that. Okay, he's, one of your Smarter League teammates sent me exactly what the multiplication tables look like that I got it wrong, but, but, but uh, three hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days. That's before he can ever go to practice. And to see the, the sacrifices he has made and the sacrifices that his mother, Janine, has made to give him the best chance to be great and it's as fitting as it possibly could be that in the biggest game of our lifetimes, we go to him every time down the stretch. Give it up for Big Dave McCormick.
I just want to say thank you to my teammates just and coaches just for having faith in me. And um, we, We've gotten to this point through hard work and just um, a lot of dedication. And that just goes to say, you know, how, who we are as people and uh, credit to the family of how you raised us and uh, brought us up to be great young men. Um, I just want to say it's been a journey, and I, I appreciate for I appreciate all you guys for just sticking with me and having faith in me and just believing me even when it came into crunch time, like Coach said. And I just thank you all so much. Um, love you all. Thank you. And, and then, of course, our last senior uh, had a pretty good year. Uh, you know, he went through the process last year like Jay Will did, made the decision to come back. And when he came back, he was going for the throat. And uh, he went for the throat. He got it. Uh, I don't know that we've had anybody that probably started, you know, in high school being a guy that was really, he was recruited, but he wasn't recruited at a high level. And to come here and go from being a redshirt guy, because I don't know how much he'll play, to let's take him out of red shirt if it's okay with mom and dad because I can't promise he's going to play a lot. Two and two games being probably our second leading scorer. Had a good sophomore year, better junior year, and then he blew it out of the water this year. Only one player that I know of and none in my tenure that has had a better senior year or a better year period than this guy. Big 12 player of the year. Obviously tournament in the Big 12. Were you player of the, were you player of the uh, uh, Big Tournament player of the year? I guess, guess he should have. I got to get a few more shots. He, uh, 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 and, and, and then, obviously, uh, uh, MOP of the Final Four, uh, win a national championship, and a first-team All-American, and graduates. He's already graduated, just finished his last degree requirement. I will make the announcement for him, even though he will do it. Uh, don't hold your breath on him coming back another year, though. Uh, it's time for him to go. And, and uh, certainly, uh, we've loved coaching him every day. And he's right here in our backyard. Coach Ayabashi. Uh, I'll make this quick. I want to start off by thanking Coach Sell for, for obviously recruiting me here. Um, I know I was about to go uh, on an official visit right before he, uh, you know, he offered me, um, I was going to go to Oregon State, uh, but then, you know, I canceled that visit right after he offered me and then took, took up the offer, but uh, I just want to thank everybody, thank my family, thank the coaches, and obviously thank my teammates. Um, this is what I came back to do, is to get all these trophies and, and win just, just, you know, every single night, and uh, I thank you guys for, you know, helping me lead y'all and, and all that, so, uh, you know, thank everybody, I'm thanking everybody for coming, so, uh, rock chalk. at our banquets except for one and it's it's that named after a guy that epitomized what was everything that was good about this place uh, uh, you know about 33 34 years ago uh, pretty good player here had a decent senior year led us to a national championship but obviously he simplified everything off the court that was good as well as the this particular year, uh, uh, I know these guys have been giving a lot of accolades, but I, I do hope this, this means something to you. But we could pick one, even though uh, guys all had individually great years. But David McCormick, Mr. Jayhawk. Lightfoot, Mr. Jayhawk. And if he didn't have enough already, Coach Ibaji, Danny Manny, Mr. Jayhawk Award. All right, that, that, that'll about conclude the festivities tonight. We appreciate you guys hanging in there. Got out of here in less than two hours, which is pretty good. But before we do, Let's have all the players come get on the stage. And then if you guys want to, take your cameras, get up close, 
take pictures of a team because one of the sad things about ending a season and, and winning big and opportunities for others, who knows when this team will ever be together again. One of the best things about winning on Saturday against Villanova is we practice on Sunday. So there's no more of those. These guys all go, all go their own way, but I really hope that you guys appreciate everything they've given to all of us. So guys, come on up here and you guys all be recognized and let people gather around and take pictures. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a 2022 men's NCAA national champions.